Joseph Adams back here to talk about one of our favorite pieces of gear, the Rectalux Hardcore DNA. Made by a member of our community, John Barlow, the Hardcore DNA is the best single focus solution out there at the time. And just because it's the best, it doesn't mean it's perfect. So a few of our members have taken matter into their own hands and came up with small upgrades and improvements to the Hardcore DNA. This episode was made a lot easier thanks to a list put together by Ian Edward Ware and by reading extensive comments in the Anamorphic Shooters group. Also, I'm going to start the episode with a quick fix to the focus stuck issue, uh, which Chris Stanton pointed out in the original Hardcore DNA review. So here's how you do it. The reason why focus gets stuck is because of these three tiny screws here on the focus ring. These screws are what connects the markings and the movement of the focus ring with the rotation of the focus helicoid. The problem is, if you screw them in too deep, they'll go past the focus helicoid and bite into gaps of the inner housing of the hardcore DNA. And the consequence of that is you're going to get stiff or stuck focus whenever one of these three screws is put in too deep. If all three are in too deep, the focus ring can spin freely and also come off the hardcore DNA. They have their little holes in the helicoid, which align with the focus scale on the focus ring. You can miss those holes and still have focused work, but if they're not aligned, your scale will be off. So loosen them a bit if you're getting focus stuck, and tighten them a bit if they seem to be popping out. There you go, folks. Don't get your focus ring stuck anymore. Uh, I already talked about HTN's front rings for the Hardcore DNA and the Top Tier Koas, so I'm not going to go into that again. You can just click the card and watch the full episode about it. They're awesome. Below are links to all of the products mentioned here, plus a few other useful information links that you can access. And if you get any of the products through these links, I get a little bit of commission, so you are helping this channel effectively. So buy the upgrades through the links. The Hardcore DNA comes with six 12 millimeters M4 screws that are pointy and when you screw them in to hold onto your anamorphic setup, they end up creating these tiny bite marks. And if you don't like them, you don't want to damage or change the cosmetic condition of your lens, you can get the same screws with nylon heads. So the same pressure is applied, but it doesn't leave a mark on the scope. Besides that, the front of the Hardcore DNA is rather large at 86 mil, which means you have a lot of area to collect dust or dirt or water splashes, anything that will degrade your image quality. So I would say it's a good idea to get an 86 mil UV filter for cheap on eBay and just keep it on at all times. And in this aspect, the Hardcore DNA is already better than the previous version, the 3FFW, because it comes with a front cap while the original one did not. If you don't like the original method for clamping the Rectalux onto your anamorphic through the tiny screws, you can get a 67mm metal hood for attaching the Hardcore DNA to the front of it, and once you have the bite marks on there, the back of your Hardcore DNA is effectively a 67 millimeter filter thread that can go onto your front clamp. And that makes it easier to swap your single focus between multiple anamorphics. These hoods tend to be a bit long, so you might want to get it machine cut so it's shorter and it gives you way less vignetting. And now since the back of your Rectilux has filter threads, you can get a screw-in filter cap for it, which is also a very cheap upgrade. Minimum focus is still far off for a few users, so I would say diopters are a good call. And Century Optics makes Acromats that are plus 1.6, plus 2, or plus 2.6 that have 86mm threads. But they're pretty thick, and their price ranges from 100 bucks to 500 bucks, so you have to keep your eyes uh, peeled to find them. But still, if you don't like spending this much, you can get the cheap Vivitars, which are usually come in a kit, plus one, plus two, and plus four. They really don't show that much difference in terms of image quality while costing 30 bucks for the kit, so why not? If you like working with clip-on matte boxes, the Hardcore DNA isn't exactly helpful because the front of the lens goes back all the way into the body when you focus to infinity. So RAF Camera started offering an adapter ring that screws onto the 86mm threads and it creates 95mm threads at the front and it gives you a lip that you can attach the clip-on matte box to. 
Also, if you want to take your lens apart completely for re-greasing, fixing leaks, or for any modifying purposes, you can do that by following the link in the description. And it's a subject for an upcoming episode, so if you want to watch me do that, just subscribe and you'll see it. If you like these upgrades, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below saying how awesome Ian is for putting together this list. And if you have time, check out my Patreon page and make a pledge. Even like $1 is going to get you one week early access to the videos. So it's a pretty good deal. You're going to get stuff ahead of everyone else. I'm Chit Fahadangs, and I'll see you next week.